We wanted to start off in a very big way with a particular video. And that video is a is the installation of um, the uh, Didi Prahlad Nishringadev in uh, Germany, new, uh, new, uh, what is it called? New Cormor, something Shetra, new Nishringa Shetra, Nishringa Shetra. Um, yeah, so um, before I start, and I'd like to introduce the video. Is everything ready to go for the video? Yes, Guru Maharaj. All right, so I hope the devotees come on because to miss any part of this is, uh, is a loss. It's a wonder, it's the most amazing video. Um, before I begin, I'll <clears throat> offer our obeisances to New Simhachalam in Germany. Thank you very much, Sitesh. Uh, Om Agyan Timirandasya Gena Jana Salakaya Chaksun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gadavena Maha <coughs> Shri Chaitanya Manobistam Stapti Tam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padanti Kam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gaudavani Pachari De Nirvasesa Sunyavadi, Bastyat Yade Satari De, <coughs> Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadhar, Sri Vasadi Gaur, Bhakta Vindam, Panchakopa Tarubhishya Kripa Sindhu, Pei Vacha Patitanam, Pavane Vyo, Vaishnave Vyo, Namaho Namaha. Nama, uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sri Nishringa, Jai Nishringa, Jai Jai Sri Nishringa, Palada Desha, Jaya Padma Mukha Padma Bringam, Ugram Virya Mahavishnu, Jwalantam Sarvato Mukham Nishringa Vishinam Badram, Mitya Mityam Namami Aham. <laughs> so uh, this will be the first in a series of talks continuing uh, for at least one more week on the Nishringa Day. And I wanted to bring it in, to start in a very powerful way. Um, before I introduce the video, I'd like to say that in our ISKCON society around the world, we have uh, about four temples, I think, that have installed full forms of Lord Nishringadev. I can think of four. Maybe there are more than four, but I don't think so. And um, maybe just to, just to test everyone's uh, memory and intelligence, um, can you tell me where those four places are? that have full-size forms of Lord Nishringa Day, which are regularly worshipped on a daily basis as part of the daily programs. Who knows the four places? Uh, Mayapur is one. Bangalore? Well, that's in the Shringa Temple, I think, in Bangalore, yes. And I'm not sure of the deity there. New Vrindavan is another one. That's good. Well, two more. Mayapur is another one. Another one is Simhachalam, Germany. Suha, Suha, Simhachalam, Germany. That's what we'll be seeing today. And one more. Which Ujjain, thank you very much. Bhakti Churu Maharaj installed the replica of the Nishringa Devi from Mayapur in Ujjain is practically an exact replica. It's part of the daily worship. It's one of the five altars that make up the Ujjain temple worship. Um, okay, these are the main places. Now, this particular presentation, it's long. It'll take up the whole time period for our program but it's quite interesting. Mm. This is a 
the installation of Prahlad Nishringadev, which happened in September um, 1982 in Simhachalam in Germany. And the Pujari there, and you'll see he's the main person who presents this whole uh, uh, installation, is the Prabhupada disciple. His name is Gaur Keshava. Uh, he is um, expert at puja and may his for his whole life is puja and uh, <clears throat> he is very deep i mean really deep in the agnihotras and all the various pujas that go on as part of the worship he throughout the vedas he's he's really vedavada rata he knows the vedas well as far as the pancharatrika system and you'll see he's quite dynamic in this presentation. He narrates as he is performing the installation ceremony. And you'll see Sachinandana Maharaj there. You'll see Krishna Shetra Maharaj there. You'll see, um, I think Kadambakanana Maharaj is also in the video and many, many other devotees which you may recognize from your own experiences. Okay, so without further ado, um, so please watch the whole video because the end is really, really powerful. And uh, <laughs> this is the installation, September 22nd, 19, so 22nd, 23rd, 24th, three day festival in New Simha Chalam. This is called a Krishnajana. Krishna is the name of the animal because it's a, it's a, supposed to be slightly black deer. And Arjuna means skin. So it's very auspicious for sitting on. If you sit, you get yen. So in this pot is Narada Muni. Narada yeah. Muni is here in this pot. Okay. Narada Muni Namaha. Avahe Ami Stapayami. Pariyo Padyam Samar Payami. Hasiyo Agyam Samar Payami. Mugiyachiminiyam Samar Payami. Shnapayami. Om Prajumna, Om Ayudanam, Om Prasotamaha, 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 Om Oh, I'm going to go ahead and make some donuts 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 and
Om namo bhagavate mahasudai shudai jipte Gwali kwalitaya Sarvadik chobana karaya Humpat brahmane paramatoti se swaha Holy Lord! We've done puja on these pots for two days. Now we're going to pour these pots onto Lord Nishringa Dev. Uh, then after that, he'll be completely, uh, the deity's body will be completely purified and then he'll be able to have all your darshan. He'll be able to see you. Bad news, <laughs> sort of bad news. I'd like all the married ladies to come and help bathe the deity. <laughs> Stated in the scriptures that some married ladies, married ladies are called Sumangalis. Sumangalis means they're very auspicious. Also, we have some very special water from Jamuna, from Ganges. <laughs> Where else? Adriatic Sea. From the Adriatic Sea! Oh. And from the Mediterranean! Is that the same? <laughs> I'm not too sure. But anyway, we've got some very auspicious water here. And we also have all the different pots with Sada Shiva and Sukadeva Goswami. And all the Rig Veda and Sama Veda, Yajur Veda, Atava Veda. And the different Mahakumbhas, Upakumbhas, Keshava Narayana, Madhava Govindu. And the Chatur Vyuha. And the Mahanarasimha pot, which we just poured half of up on top. No. So now we're going to just pour these pots off. <laughs>
When Shringa Dave does something, he always does it in a big way. <laughs> Anybody in the audience there was, was at that festival? <laughs> Very unlikely that was 30 years ago. <laughs> almost 40, almost 40 years ago. So every year during the uh, Nishringa festival at New Simhachalam, when they perform the, uh, they perform different pujas which covers a three-day festival every year and various types of rituals, performances, uh, circumambulating the temple with the deities, various types of mantras chanted, very elaborate, very uh, detailed forms of puja offered to Lord Nishringadeva every year at that particular place. One part of the uh, ceremony that they do every year is they make a huge amount of sand ash with different colors. And then they put the sand ash all over the entire deity. And the deity is dressed in sand ash and, he, and his different parts of the body look like a, like a type, of, like type of a garment. But the garment is made out of sand ash <laughs> and it's different colors formed nicely all over his body. And then of course, after some time, it's all taking off and distributed to the devotees as prashad. Well, that takes place every year. So if you ever get the chance and uh, you can go to New Simhachalam, uh, they will always do a spectacular performance of rituals and various types of activities to honor the appearance of Lord Nishringadev in so many wonderful ways. I was there the last two years, not excluding last year, 2019 and 2018, I was there for festivals, which includes a two or three day Kirtan festival to go along with the, all the activities centered around worshiping the Lord and receiving the Lord. So we want to uh, go deeper into this uh, mood of the Shringadev, especially in Kali Yuga, the Shringadev is very much a deity for worship because there are so many demons in this age. <laughs> As Srila Prabhupada said, the demons are only increasing. So the Shringadev is the person that not only protects the devotees, but he also eliminates the demons. <laughs> So he's a very busy deity in this age. <laughs> he has a lot of seva to do. And uh, <clears throat> when devotees worship Lord Nishringadev, they develop a mood of fearlessness and a mood of uh, uh, preaching. Lord Nishringadev is uh, probably one of the more preaching deities in our movement. We expand, we, he assists Lord Chaitanya in his mission of spreading Krishna consciousness around the world by removing the obstacles that present themselves in preaching Krishna consciousness. So therefore, Prabhupada said, we should always be praying to Lord Nishring did. By here, Nishin go, Ridaye Nishin go. Wherever I go, Lord Nishring Dave is also there. So he is in the heart. He is everywhere. He is within every nook and cranny of existence, Lord Nishringadeva is personally there. And for the next few days, I'll be giving some stories from, the, from ISKCON. There are many ISKCON amazing stories connected with Lord Nishringadeva's appearance into the lives of the devotees here in ISKCON. Unbelievable. So many amazing pastimes that devotees had with Lord Nishringadeva. 
sounded like right out of, right out of the revealed scriptures. And plus, we'll also uh, go into the leelas of Lord Nishringadev, as it's described in the Srimad Bhagavatam, and also in some other supplementary literatures. So this will be our focus until his appearance is on the 25th of this month, which is exactly one week away. So we hope to churn the nectar of Lord Nishringadev and to get the devotees into the mood of welcoming Lord Nishringadev on his appearance day. Of course, for us, Lord Nishringadev is a day-to-day -day form of meditation and worship. But on his appearance day, there are special, special opportunities for glorification and uh, special opportunities to receive Lord Nishringadev's special blessings and mercy. He's very kind <laughs> to his devotees and he's worshipped in the mood of uh, Vatsayaras. In other words, he is like our father. We worship him as our protector father, which protects us from all the calamities, all the dangers in this age. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur gives a very <clears throat> uh, three-point uh, uh, benediction that Lord Nishringadev gives. Those three points are that he destroys material illusions. If we become illusioned by the material energy and we think that the material energy has something to offer in the terms of the happiness that we can achieve from the different objects that we uh, come in contact with, we pray to Lord Nishingadev, he destroys our attraction for material illusions and also reveals the illusion. Uh, second is that he is protecting against the dangers of this world. There are so many dangers, padam, padam, yavi, padam. <laughs> this world is considered a place that is extremely dangerous. As Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati used to say, there's no place for a gentleman in this world. <laughs> it's just a very, very difficult place to live in. And there's uh, death is always hovering everywhere in the atmosphere, ready to strike at any time. <clears throat> and there are so many calamities <laughs> that come by way of the uh, material modes of nature. But Lord Nesringadev is the protector of the devotees by here, Nishingo, Ridaye, Nishingo. Um, he, and then the last thing is that he also removes material desires from the hearts of the devotees who are attached to fruitive activities. He destroys that principle that's mentioned by Prahlad Maharaj in the beautiful prayer in the fifth canto, not seventh, but fifth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam where he describes uh, Lord Nisringadev's mercy uh, by uprooting the desire for fruit of activities, which are the activities, material activities in the modes of passion and ignorance, mostly in the mode of passion. And so this is a little bit about his mercy upon the devotees. Uh, he comes in many forms of himself from very simple, humble form where he is caressing his beautiful devotee, Prahlad Maharaj, who's sitting on his lap, a very sweet and loving mood. You can see that in the deity of uh, uh, Jayada Nishringa, because Jayada Nishringa is the name of the deity in the new Simhachalam. And Prahlad is there. So he's very, the deity is very sweetly content being with his uh, loving devotee. And the love devotee is really happy. It's taking full shelter of the Lord. And then he goes all the way up to his stun called Stanu Nushringa. Stanu means pillar. He comes, when he comes out of the pillar, he is in the most ferocious mood ever. And he has, he only sees one thing. He sees Harani Kashipu, nothing else. And therefore, his ferociousness, the ferocity, is at the height of his existence. And those deities are very rare in the world. People don't want to worship them because they can uh, 
also destroy the worshiper if, if you're not careful in your worship. It's like really, uh, it's only meant for nice sticky brahmacharis to worship this form of Shringadev who is, um, all he sees is Harani Kashiku. So, uh, but he's very kind, very merciful, nine different forms of Lord Nishringadev and uh, within the, the category of Ugra, but then he has many other forms also. He is Lakshmi Nishringadev also. Uh, we also hear the beautiful prayer, Vagishya Yashya Badane, Lakshmi Yashya Shivakshasi, Yashya Tamritayam Samvit, Tam Nishringa Aham Baljay. This is a beautiful prayer mentioned in the Srimad Bhagavatam, glorifying uh, uh, Lakshmi, the Shringadev. When Lakshmi is there, and then the Lord is very passive when he's with his internal energy, Lakshmi Devi. Then she's rendering all kinds of personal service to the lotus feet of the Lord. So uh, we are very much in need of his mercy, especially in Kali Yuga. Kalair dosha nidi rajan asti eku maha gun kirtan iva krishna siya mukta samantara bhajit. Kalair dosha nidi, in this, uh, this material world, especially in this age of Kali, is simply an ocean of faults. All the glitter of material prosperity, which comes with the high tech society we live in, is simply an illusion. There is, to keep people pacified that this world is actually nice. But all it is, is, is the type of a drug that keeps people away from the real goal of life, which is self-realization. So when you strip away all the veneer of this material world in the forms of the economic and material glitter that it presents itself to be in terms of all the conveniences and amenities, that come by way of material arrangements, you see that it's just really one miserable, horrible place. <laughs> uh, it's like when you're when you're undergoing tremendous pain, and somehow you take an anesthesia. The pain is still there; you can't experience the pain, but the anesthesia just keeps you in a different state of existence. As the anesthesia wears out, the wears off, the pain starts to reappear, or at least it's always there, but you, now you can experience it. So uh, this glitter of material energy, which we, which is presented in the form of progress and civilization has kept the people in the illusion that we are doing okay in this world. But then again, it's like polishing the cage of a bird the bird is inside the cage and the bird is hungry. But if you come and you say, well, I'm going to serve the bird. So all you do is polish the cage and you neglect the bird inside. Then the cage is nice and bright, but the bird dies. <laughs> so the bird is, is symptomatic or symbolic of our soul. And the cage is this material body. We have developed a nice, nice polish for the material body in this world. And we think because the, the material body can be kept in such comfort, at least in some degree, we think we are making progress. And we have so many things to do. Nowadays, we're always busy learning about new things to keep us busy. We forget about the real goal of life, which is Tato Brahma Jigyasa, Prema Pumarta Mahan. This is the real wealth of the individual. It's the knowledge of the soul. It's the, the uh, panacea of all happiness. And it's the ultimate principle of uh, perfection of life. So uh, Nishringadev, he, he comes to help us uh, understand what is our real goal of life and expose all the material illusions at the same time giving protection to his devotees against all the dangers that come by way of material contact. So um, take some time, I encourage the devotees to 
read the pastimes from Srimad Bhagavatam, especially about the life of Lord Srigadeva in the seventh canto, one of Srila Prabhupada's favorite pastimes. He spoke on Prahlad Maharaj and Srigadeva at least in three different occasions uh, during his time with us, which is actually a record. The only other time he, he spoke three different times on was when he spoke on uh, when he sp when he spoke on the prayers of Queen Kunti in the first canto. So Prabhupada liked these two sections, Queen Kunti's prayers in Srimad Bhagavatam first canto, and especially the prayers and activities of that five-year-old boy Prahlad Maharaj. So you see where Prabhupada put his emphasis in order to teach us some of the more powerful messages that we can learn in our practice of Krishna consciousness. Okay, so um, I hope you found the video interesting and what we say enlivening. Um, if you see it uh, on, a, on a screen uh, separate from the computer, you'll find it's a little more clear, but uh, I think we got an idea of what it was like in terms of the mood that was there at that time. The enthusiasm that the devotees exhibited was really just spontaneous, welcoming the appearance of, that, of the Lord. And it's interesting, that was 1982, which was almost 40 years ago, 39 years ago this year. Uh, that deity is, the worship is only increasing. So um, Lord Nisringadev has some of the best pujaris and some of the best forms of worship. And uh, uh, if you ever get an opportunity or find the opportunity and you can travel, take a, go ahead and come at a festival time and just uh, visit Lord Nisringadev in New Simhatsalam in Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll stop there and see if any devotees would like to add anything or maybe even ask a question. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much for enlivening class and glorious like this video. It was really, really amazing. I have got uh, Guru Maharaj, if your permission is there, this uh, Sandesh Vesh Darshan of uh, Narsingha Dev. Uh, it's a big video, but I can show maybe in one minute if it's okay. Yeah, you have a, you have a photo of that? <laughs> uh, it's a video, Guru Maharaj, uh, from Narsingha Chaturdashi. I can play and I can stop in a minute. So just, it's yeah, a please. Show. How long is it? It's a big one, but Maharaj, like the darshan can be in just one minute. So it's... Yeah. Begin. <laughs> Thank you, Guru Maharaj.
Thank, Thank you. you. The, the devotees should note, note that that everything except their faces was was Sandesh. Everything that was all nicely designed and offered to Lord Ashwini. And then there's a deity in the front there. That's also another Nishringa Dev deity, which is also quite mystical. Um, there's a story attached to that, that when they were installing that deity, they tried to put one particular weapon in one of his hands, but they couldn't do it. And as hard as they tried, they couldn't do it. So they gave up. And after some time from that hand, that deity manifested his own symbol, which was a flame or fire. So this was told to me by the Pujari who actually did their worship during that, when that deity was installed. Okay. So Hare Krishna, dear devotees, if you have any questions, any comment or any relation, please unmute yourself or you can type on chat window. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Okay. So we'll uh, conclude our session here and uh, we'll see everyone tomorrow. We'll begin a series of talks centered around uh, Lord Nishi. Thank you, Eknath Prabhu from Nasik. Thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Uh, can I ask? Hare Krishna. So, Please. Sorry, Prabhuji. Uh, yes, you go ahead. Thank you. Okay, Diptesh. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada, all glory to you, Maharaj. That was a wonderful video, Maharaj. Um, every year we plan to go to Europe to visit a temple, and Simhachalam is on the list. I haven't made it yet. Hopefully, we can make it soon. Maharaj, I have a question in respect to uh, worshipping Lord Narsingadev. So, we, we generally worship or we've been advised to worship Lord Narsingadev and we see for protection. But can we, what is so specific about Lord Narsingadev uh, that we, so we can, we can also worship and pray to Lord Krishna or Gornitai for protection, but we always uh, tend to worship Lord Narsingha Dev for protection. So what is so specific about Lord Narsingha Dev? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we know he, he appeared to protect his devotee. So we know that. But what is so specific and special that we, we tend to take shelter of him and not go Nithai or Krishna directly for protection? Well, it's not like you can't take shelter of any of them, but Lord Nisringa, they appeared, and you, I think you answered it, that he appeared to simply to give protection to Paladma. He wasn't worried about her Kashipu. And when the demigods prayed to, to the Lord to actually come and kill this demon who was harassing everyone, the Lord said, well, you know, I know all the activities of Harani Kashipu, but when he when he teases my devotee, then I will do something. So Kunti Apatijani Hina made Bhakti Pranashiti. So just like this uh, this uh, situation we have now <laughs> in the world. Uh, so the Lord is letting it go on accordingly because he doesn't interfere with the three modes of material nature. But when the devotees get in trouble, then the Lord is there to give protection. 
when the devotees take shelter of the Lord, pray to the Lord, he's there. He's always there for his devotees. So, uh, yeah, it's in the nectar of devotion. It says that one should pray to uh, Ganesh to remove obstacles in devotional service. But then again, we hear that Ganesh gets his power from the Sringadev. Ganesh is a devotee of Lord Nishringadev, and it says he keeps the lotus feet of Lord Nishringadev on his tuli, on his tusk. So um, for us, removing obstacles, removing dangers, uh, taking, removing illusions, these are specifically we direct our prayers to Lord Vishnu today. Uh, we have a beautiful prayer, which will begin tomorrow's class with the prayer. I can recite it now. It's from the Srimad Bhagavatam, fifth canto, uh, 18th chapter, and verse number eight. And it says, Om Namo Bhagavate Maha, Om Namo Bhagavate Maha Sudarsh. No, that's another one. Maha, Maha Om Namo Bhagavate Narasringhaya. Namas Teja 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 Se Avir Avir Bhava Brajanaka Brajadamsa Kamasaya. Radia Radia Tamo Grasa Grasa Om Swaha Avayam Avayam Atmani Bhuyastam Om Shram. This is a prayer by Prahlad Maharaj. You can read the translation. We'll start with tomorrow's class with this, but here's a little preview. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Nishringade, the source of all power. O oh, my Lord, who possesses nails and teeth just like thunderbolts, kindly vanquish our demon-like desires for food of activity in this material world. Please appear in our hearts and drive away our ignorance so that by your mercy, we become fearless in the struggle for existence in the material world. So here, get rid of, uh, we have demon like, we have little Harani Kashi Poos running around in our hearts, <laughs> telling us how to enjoy material energy, and giving us ideas on how to do it. These the desire is for food of activity. So he destroys these things. And it gives you fearlessness because to, to live in this material world is a struggle. So when we're fearless, then we can overcome the obstacles that present ourselves as we try to become fully Krishna conscious. Thank you, Maharaj. That is clear. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yeah, Sri Gadeva is very dear to the devotees. Hare Krishna, you want to say something? Uh, Hare Krishna, Dandavat uh, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Is this Ekna? Uh, Dandavat Maharaj. Yes, it's Ekna Prabhu, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, he's saying Dandavats. <laughs> uh, Ma Maharaj, my son Ram is to uh, tell to you. Ramdas. Oh yeah, Ramdas. I was there when you were born, Ramdas. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Uh, yes, Maharaj. Uh, Ramdas only one year born and uh, meet to you Aurangabad. Now uh, that time, uh, uh, Ram is still to you, Maharaj. Uh, I am not seen Maharaj last some years. That's why he has tell to you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. You are Nasik yet? Yeah? Yes, yes, Maharaj. Yeah. That's uh, the holy, the holy land of Nasik. Yes. Ram Das, Jai Sri Ram. Yes, <laughs> sir. Uh, um, yeah, at home, um, my father and mother uh, say me Ram, and in school, that name. Hare Krishna. That's very nice. You look like a very happy devotee. 
Miles, when you will come to India now? When Krishna wants me to come, I'll come. <laughs> uh, uh, I am Krishna very happy to. I am very happy to see you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. We are. We, I think it was ten years ago. Was the last time I was in Nasik. No, maybe not so long. Maybe six years ago. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, my obeisances to you and to your whole family. Please keep healthy. <laughs> we, uh, yes, Maharaj, we are in Agra now. So we uh, go to Rundavan's life. Oh, you're traveling. Yes. Good, good, good. You have an you have an, a brother also? No. Sister? No. Just uh, you. Maharaj, only one, 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 one child is Ramdas, and you are giving uh, his name. name. Yeah, I gave him the name Ramdas. <laughs> yes, yes, Maharaj. Yeah. Because you are there in the holy land of Ram's pastimes, Nasik. <laughs> Take care. Take care, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Jai Sri Ram. Hare Krishna. Uh, please take care of Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Come in from Vishali Mataji in chat. Uh, she is saying, Hare Krishna, Maharaj. We were there in 2018 too. The Sandesh was nectar. The whole three days festival was so uplifting. Avshek was just amazing. Then the shower and swinging. Thank you, Maharaj, for bringing back these wonderful memories. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much for this. Amazing class, valuable time and your association. Thanks, uh, devotees, for joining this session. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. jai. Guru Dev ki jai. jai. Anand Kapoti Vaishnav Brind ki jai. 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 Thank you very much. Jai Nishringa, Jai Nishringa, Jai Jai Sri Nishringa. Thank you very much, Guru Maharaj. You are just bringing us into the mood of Narsinga Chaturdashi. Jai Guru. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna.